today we are making pineapple stuffing because it's almost Christmas and we're almost ready for that big day. And I hope you have your main course thawing out if it's either a turkey or a ham like I do. And since I'm serving ham at my Christmas table this year, I'm making pineapple stuffing. I never heard of pineapple stuffing until I dated a former boyfriend of mine and his mom served it at Easter and Christmas when we had ham. I've taken it to fellowship meals and the pan never comes home full, unfortunately. <laughs> makes for easy dishes but you know you can serve this hot or cold and you can serve it over ice with ice cream if you want but it doesn't need anything i can eat it cold the next day right out of the refrigerator but we won't say that to my husband right he already knows but anyway if you're new here i do cooking from scratch baking canning dehydrating and fermenting and anything else that revolves around the kitchen island, I guess. And if you're returning, welcome, pull up a chair, have some joe, and sit back. This is a fun day for me. Let's get started. To make pineapple stuffing, you need a greased baking pan, either an eight by eight casserole dish or a nine inch round dish, or if you wanna double it, do a nine by 13, and you'll need bread. You can buy store-bought bread, no judgment here. This is Amish sweet bread that has basically more sugar than a normal sandwich loaf. I have four eggs, a cup of sugar, a stick of softened butter, and I put it in the microwave because I forgot to get a stick out. And if you microwave it, please chunk it. One time I had an incident with a whole stick of butter in the, in the microwave and it exploded and I lost my microwave. So chunk your butter. Then I'm using home can pineapple. I get it when it's on sale throughout the year. I can it when it's almost ready to rot. It is so sweet that way and you don't have the tin can taste that way. And you also need a knife to cut your bread and a whisk and a spatula to scrape it into the pan and a bowl to mix it in. I am trying to do this viewer friendly because I know some people don't have fancy mixers like I do. So let's get to mixing. sugar and our butter together. All right. And when they're well and combined, eggs one at a time. I decide I'm doing it by hand today just to show you how simple this recipe can be and you don't need any special equipment. I'm using is a dough whisk. I just got one, so you don't really need it <laughs> to make this recipe. You could probably do it with a, even a wooden spoon, but I just wanted to play with this new 
with. We have our sugar, our butter, and our eggs all mixed together. Now we're gonna add our pineapple and I've drained it. And when I can it, I just chunk it. When you use a stand mixer, you don't have to make sure it's crushed. But the recipe does call for crushed pineapple. So you could just do chunk. And then you just pop your bread in and just fold it in. Now, this is basic. And you know how I like to judge things up, I guess you can say. I've added coconut for Easter. And one holiday, I put one machino cherry in this. And I said, whoever gets it, gets to wash the dishes. Well, unfortunately, my mother-in-law got it and she didn't wash the dishes. She's like the one person that would never wash dishes. <sighs> Maybe she's a smart woman. I don't know. But the kids thought it was too. Maybe you could do whoever gets the cherry gets a fabulous grand prize if you're hosting a, a dinner. Just something just to keep in mind. All right. So this is pretty much that's what it's going to look like. Nothing fancy, right? Put it in the pan here, and then we're gonna bake at 350 for an hour. I decided to make another batch, and I thought I would add coconut to it. You can add mandarin oranges to it, that would be good. And then I said cherries before. I'm sure you could even do walnuts if you're into that type of thing, but I'm gonna try to keep it plain because Christmas, there's so many different foods you want to try. I hope you give this a try. And if you do, let me know and share it on Instagram with me. I would love to see it. again because I'm excited. I look forward to this every holiday that I make this for because it's a rare treat. I hope I can eat that pretty for you because I love to eat that ugly if you know what I mean. It is just, it doesn't look pretty, but you know, I don't try to cook pretty. I try to eat good. I don't think you can buy anything from the store that's this good. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. I hope you get everything you want, which we know won't happen, but we can hope, right? There's always hope. I hope you get to spend it with the ones you love or want to. <laughs> Thanks for watching. God bless you and Merry Christmas. And remember to have fellowship with one another. Go check up on those people that tend to not have family come around. Just love one another. See you in the next one.